Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidModerX.com. Today I have a very simple video for you. This is how to install TeamWin Recovery Project on the Galaxy S4 from Verizon. So first you will have to be rooted. You want to check out my root guide for that. Once you're rooted, then you can go into Goo Manager. So you'll need to download Goo Manager from the market. Go ahead and give that root permission. Then we'll go to Menu, Install Open Recovery Script. Select yes, select yes, then we'll go ahead and let this download. Once this downloads it will automatically flash the recovery and then we'll go ahead and boot into recovery and back up our stock rooted ROM. So this is a pretty big file here. While it's downloading I just want to give you guys a few words on the Team Wind Recovery Project for the Galaxy S4. Now the only way that this is able to work, we do not have an unlock bootloader method for this device. D Junior Bliss or Dan Rosenberg, the same guy that came up with the uh, root exploit, not the method, but the exploit, he's also responsible for uh, hacking the Galaxy S4 bootloader. So this is really just a hack that bypasses the bootloader. This is not really an unlocked bootloader. I imagine there are developers like Adam Outler who are probably currently working on a way to get this bootloader unlocked. Uh, but for now what we do have is a workaround which will allow us to install ROMs, install custom recovery mods, whatever uh, kernels on this device. So as soon as this finishes downloading uh, we'll go ahead and boot into TeamWin Recovery Project. Once the download's finished, you'll see a message that pops up that says recovery being installed, and then it'll say successfully installed recovery. Once you've seen those messages, you'll reboot recovery. Go ahead and select yes. This should reboot us into TeamWin Recovery Project. Remember, we do not have an unlocked bootloader. This is uh, just the low-key hack method by D Junior Bliss, Dan Rosenberg. So big shout-outs to him for hacking the bootloader. Basically what it is, just a bypass of the bootloader. So now we're booting into Team Wind Recovery Project. And of course the first thing you'll probably want to do is go ahead and back up your stock root system. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'll swipe to back up. That way I can always restore to that stock rooted system. Anyways guys, this has been how to install Team Wind Recovery Project onto your Galaxy S4. Big shout outs to Dan Rosenberg for the Loki method. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to click the like button if you did like this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. I'm going to be covering the Galaxy S4 along with the HTC One. So you want to be sure that you are subscribed for that. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.